Welcome to part two of the mini butler pantry that I just finished. If you're interested in part one, make sure to check that out on my channel. Today, this video is gonna be all about these toe kick drawers that I put in the very bottom of the butler pantry. Now, I wasn't intending to make this a YouTube video, so it's in a different format than it normally is, but hopefully that's okay. I'll still try to give you all the information that I can, and I hope you stick around. As usual, I will put links to everything that I used in this video in the description below, so make sure and check that out, and let's get to it. So I was trying to utilize as much space as I possibly could in this tiny corner pantry, and after I built the shelves, I had this great idea. I had this little six inch space at the bottom of the shelving, and I had some extra plywood left over, so I decided to make them into little drawers. Now before you do anything, you wanna make sure that you measure your depth and the width of the space that you have available for your drawer. In my case, it was 26 inches wide and 15 inches deep. Now I did take into account that each one of these casters is about an inch. So the box itself ends up being about 24 inches wide. And that leaves me enough room to have casters on either side that won't hit the side rails. And then I made the box itself only, let's see. And then from back to front, it's 15 inches before I put on the face plate, which is how deep my shelf is here before I put on the molding and the trim. So make sure you do your measurements first. So first I cut in the bottom of the drawer, which is 15 inches deep by 24 inches long. Then I cut eight pieces that were three and a half inches wide. These will be the side rails of the drawer box. Next, I'm using pocket holes to secure the pieces together and then to also secure the bottom of the drawer to the side rails. Once the pocket holes are made, I am setting them on top of the drawer box and screwing the side rails down to the base and to each other. I'm using wood glue here and I'll attach that in the link below. And I'm using one and a quarter inch screws. I found these casters on Amazon and they are for under bed boxes, like storage boxes. So they sit against the floor and hold the box on the side or the drawer on the side which is perfect for this project. So I'm just connecting these to the drawer box. I'm actually putting the front ones a little further back just to give me a little more room in case there's some tightness between the side rails and this. I love how low profile these casters are. They work perfectly and they don't attach to any rails so I'm able to kind of slide the box into place since there's very little space down under here. As you can see, I have a door frame that's kind of in the way. So these casters allow me to rock the drawer right around that corner and back into place. I'm using a one by four piece of MDF to screw to the face of this drawer. I've painted it the same color as the rest of the shelving, and then I'll just add a little handle. I found these handles on Amazon, but they were too small to wrap around both the MDF and my plywood. So instead I cut a little groove and set the handle down inside the plywood so that it'll hold on in the middle there. These handles actually come black and I spray painted them gold to match the rest of the pieces in my kitchen. They have a very modern look and feel to them, which I really loved. And they're very minimalist. They're not super in the way and noticeable, which I really like for the bottom of this pantry. And that's it. These are the toe kick drawers. 
Super simple and easy to build and add to any pantry. If you're interested in the rest of the build, make sure and check out that video. As soon as I was finished with this portion, I called a friend to come over to help me organize the rest of the pantry. We pulled everything out. We found really cute bins, which I will link below as well. And we did our best to organize this space in a way that I could maintain and that my family could keep clean and know where everything is. My friend Michelle from the Glitzy Pair, I'll go ahead and link her below. She's on Instagram. She is an organizer and she helped me process this entire thing in a way that is totally realistic for my family. I am one who doesn't mind decanting products when I get them to put them in these pretty jars and keep them in my pantry. It actually helps me to know what I have available to me and what I don't, what I need to buy. So I love how this all turned out. It is so clean. I've had it this way for a few months and luckily my family's been able to maintain it. Really thinking about what's realistic for your family in these kinds of projects helps a lot. And as always, you guys can find me on Instagram, on TikTok, and on Facebook. And thank you so much for watching, and we'll see you for the next project.